What's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox. You already know what information you're here for, so let's get right into it. The first step to flying with airsoft guns or firearms is to check the TSA website for the most current information on how your gun needs to be packed and what you can or cannot bring on your flight. I will cover all that information in this video. However, it is important to know where to get that information firsthand in case of any major changes to the law. Your airsoft gun or firearm must be transported in a solid, hard-sided container, such as a gun case. You must be able to lock this container. I recommend a padlock with either a key or combination. You may also use a TSA recognized lock. I do not suggest this for real firearms though. Only you should have access to your firearm. You should also be present anytime access to your gun case is needed. It is your gun and it is your responsibility to keep it safe. You can put as many airsoft or real guns into the case as will fit. Keep in mind the overall weight will have to be under 50 pounds or 22 kilograms. Your airsoft gun does not need to have an orange tip. TSA's directive is to make sure your guns are transported safely. Along with your airsoft guns, items such as BBs, tactical gear, optics, magazines, multi-tools, NVGs, and other gun attachments can be transported in your gun case. Regarding actual firearms, it is best that ammunition be put into a hard plastic container and transported in a separate checked baggage. When packing your airsoft gun or firearm, be sure that they are completely unloaded with magazine not inserted and or chamber cleared. Special Consideration Airsoft guns are categorized as replica firearms by the TSA. Therefore, they may be transported in a normal checked bag, meaning you do not have to transport them in a locked gun case or declare them. I strongly recommend against doing this. There have been instances where airsoft guns have been damaged by TSA during their inspection. This may also result in being called back to your airline counter for clarification on your airsoft gun, which will force you to go through TSA gate security again. Most of the items you can pack in your gun case may also be packed in your normal checked bag, the only exception being lithium polymer or lipo batteries. These must be transported in a carry-on bag. The reason being, if the lipo battery were to catastrophically fail and start a fire, the fire can be immediately handled in the main compartment by a crew member. A fire in the baggage compartment has the possibility of not being extinguished till the plane lands, if it has a chance to land. Not taking precautions or properly traveling with LiPo batteries puts not just your life at risk, but also everyone else on the plane. If you are traveling with LiPo batteries, be sure to store them in a LiPo battery bag in your carry-on. How to check in with your guns and gear bag. Keep in mind, firearm declaration procedures are different from each airport and airline. Step 1. Find your airline. This is pretty self-explanatory. Step 2. Check into your airline using a kiosk or with an airline employee. After you have given them your initial flight info, you can now let them know you have a firearm to declare. A simple, I have a firearm to declare, will suffice. You will now have to fill out a very simple firearms declaration card. Once completed, you will put this card inside your gun case. If you plan on transporting your airsoft gun in a regular checked bag, you do not have to declare it. Your bag will now go through the normal checked bag TSA screening. For those declaring their firearm or airsoft gun, you may be directed to take your gun case to a TSA security screening area. Here the TSA will screen your gun case for explosive materials. Once you have been cleared by TSA, they will take or send your gun case to the correct baggage area. You have now successfully checked in your gun case and or gear bag. When you have reached your final destination, you will most likely retrieve your gun case at the oversized baggage pickup. All your other checked bags can be picked up at the normal baggage claim carousel. If there is no oversized bag pickup, or you do not see your gun case there, you can check your airline's baggage service office. You may be asked to present ID, like a driver's license or passport, to claim your gun case from either area. For your return flight, simply repeat all the steps. Please keep in mind, these steps are for domestic travel within the United States. I have traveled outside the US with my airsoft guns, but I don't know how to do it well enough to put it into a streamlined video. As for international shooters, airsoft, and firearms alike wanting to fly to the USA, I can only direct you to the US Customs website. Links in the description. I will get the international info in the very near future. If you have experience with international airsoft gun travel, comment your experience below. That's going to wrap up this video. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. 